Steel is a metal, a binary compound of carbon and iron containing between 0.002 and 2.1% carbon by mass. Steel may have additional alloy components of manganese, nickel, chromium, molybdenum, boron, titanium, vanadium, and niobium. Steel alloys often contain trace elements such as phosphorus, sulfur, silicon, oxygen, nitrogen, and aluminum, either from the natural state of the source iron or as an artifact of the process used to create it. Steel is used in machine parts, vehicles, buildings, armor, heavy equipment, pipes, ducts, clocks, springs, musical instruments, sculpture, surgical equipment, and cutlery. Any purpose for which a durable static form or a cutting edge is needed. Steel is malleable, which means it can be worked into shapes that it can hold. Steel is also ductile, which means it first deforms under tensile stress before breaking. Commonly this means it can be pulled into wire. Steel can undergo temporary or permanent deformation, called elastic deformation and plastic deformation. Steel machines easily, enabling milling machines and metal lathes to rapidly and repeatedly fabricate shapes without warping the material or breaking the cutting tool. Steel has a high hardness and strength, and is equipollent. It has the same material properties regardless of the direction in which stress is applied. This simply means that unlike wood, it doesn't have a grain to it. Steel is a ready conductor of heat, electricity, and magnetism. Iron is the heaviest element generated by the process of solar fusion and is the fourth most abundant element by number of atoms on Earth after oxygen, magnesium, and silicon. Carbon is the twelfth most abundant element by this measure and is easy to find in our organic compounds. This helps make steel inexpensive to produce, being an alloy of two of the most common elements on Earth. Steel also takes readily to recycling. Being sympathetic to magnetic forces makes steel easy to separate from the solid waste stream, and the recycling process does not denude steel of any of its useful properties of hardness and strength. In fact, steel is the most widely recycled material, with a recycling rate in 2012 of 88 tons of scrap collected for every 100 produced. A majority of the steel you see from day to day has been recycled. Mankind's earliest iron tools date back to around 4,000 years ago. At this time, most iron was meteoric, recovered from meteorites. Iron was used primarily as ornaments and treated as a gift from the gods, a magnificently rare and useful substance fallen from the heavens. Early steelmaking techniques developed independently from sources around the world of antiquity date to between 2,300 and 4,000 years ago. Shortly after discovering iron, humans would quickly figure out or chance into methods of improving it. Steel is sensitive to the component ratio of carbon, too much and it becomes brittle, too little and it lacks strength. Steel is also sensitive to the quench rate, how quickly it is cooled, and between which temperatures. This is because steel is a eutectic compound, from the Greek words for melts easily. The molecular structures of iron and carbon interrupt and work with one another to make the combination of the two easier to melt than either alone, like solder. This property also makes steel workable in the first place more than iron or carbon alone. Different ratios of carbon to iron will form different molecular structures, which by principles of crystal formation will be reflected as material properties on the macroscopic level. Because steel production is so sensitive to these small changes, it was possible to get lucky runs of steel that were far superior in workability, hardness, and strength to other inferior steels. Most mythical weapons are probably the artifacts of a smith who got a lucky run of steel and ended up with a sword that could cut or break other swords and hold an edge with seemingly magical power. During the Industrial Revolution, demand for steel skyrocketed as railroad planners laid more and more track across America. Early railroad tracks were made of wrought iron, which was cheap enough to produce in the quantities needed for large-scale projects and would warp and degrade after only a few months of use. Henry Bessemer patented an industrial process called the Bessemer process, which removed excess carbon from pig iron by blowing oxygen through a molten mass in a converter, oxidizing the carbon away and keeping the iron hot. The steel product of a Bessemer converter was a combination of high quality and cheap manufacture, lowering the cost to produce steel by over 80%. Once steel became a viable alternative for laying tracks, railroads used nothing else. In 1901, the United States Steel Corporation was the largest business enterprise ever launched, a $1.4 billion undertaking. That's the equivalent of $38.1 billion today. Steel is so pervasive in human industry that it is used as an indicator of the economic development of nations. In the English language, steel comes from the word stay, or remain firm. Steel is synonymous with strength, leading to expressions like nerves of steel, to steal oneself, and man of steel. 
Steel is so ubiquitous in the modern age that in all likelihood you can reach from where you are sitting right now and touch steel. The modern industrial products and structures use aluminum, carbon fiber, titanium alloys, and plastics for many of the same applications as steel. Steel will always be a part of our lives, a product of science and a craft of art. The useful, versatile, affordable, durable, beautiful metal of humankind.